Select. Let's talk about diffuses. It's very easy. And all of them have cool applications that you can basically understand instantly. Pulse is the one you pick when you learn the game. This one is an auto combo fuse. So if you don't know what you're Let's doing, go. this fuse, when you hit lights or mediums or heavies, will do an auto combo. So this is the heavy auto combo, right? It looks like this. And it does like this little sweep. You can do them even together. So you can do like light, light, and then start doing medium. And then medium will do this. And you don't have to even use them if you don't want to. So like I could do a normal echo combo, right? That's not even an auto combo. You see that? Or I can just do the auto combo. It's great when you're first learning, especially because it basically gives you an idea about what the character's combo should look like. And then you can like mix between them. So it's like light auto combo, medium auto combo, and then heavy auto combo. And I did all three auto combos in one combo. Next up, the one you see most people using, Freestyle or I think 2X, so those are the most common fuses. So Freestyle Fuse lets you tag twice in one interaction of calling an assist. Normally, when I call an assist, he comes out, I tag into him, and now I'm playing Yasuo. Or I call Echo Assist, I tag into him, now I'm playing Echo, right? With Freestyle, if I'm doing stuff with one character, I can call my assist, and then tag back into Echo again. So you get two tags. This is a really common and strong fuse with teams that can sandwich with things like this, where you can go left, right, sandwich your opponent and go boom, boom, and like tag back and forth. A good example of it in that I can do things like this and then like mix up my opponent. So it's a really fun fuse. It takes a little bit more understanding of the game to maybe utilize well, but you know. There's lots of tricky mix-ups that you can do off it. 2X Assist is next. You've probably seen it with Ari the most. I like it with Braum a lot. It's also the most fun fuse to use when you have duo play because the other person who's not playing, the Alawi in this case, you know, she gets the call to assist and like be active on the screen and then I can tag into her. And being able to just like hold my shield and Alawi can come out and smack somebody and then smack somebody again and then tag into her and start playing the game. Pretty fun. And Alawi is also really cool with it because she can do this assist into this assist and combo. Like that. Basically, you can smack it and then the tentacle smacks them and drags them in and it, it's so plus. Same thing with Braum. He can come out and shield something and then tackle after. This is probably the easiest one to use with two people. It's the most fun to use with two people. It's really good. The other fuse that a lot of people really like is double down if you played other versus games is basically like having a dhc it allows you to do a super with one character and then a super with another character this assist is awesome or this fuse is awesome because you can do things like this and now suddenly i got to get away with doing this on wake up and now i'm echo and i'm chilling and there's lots of like just cool interactions that you can do with this assist you know the other thing that's really cool about it is you can call your assist and then tag while your super is out. You call your assist, you do this, and your teammate can run in and play the game off of your super. This is one of the coolest things about this, and it's not even listed. Combine your ults with your partners. Yeah, just it doesn't tell you that you can do that, so you probably don't know. The next one is probably the least used fuse. It's Fury, and I actually think it's a pretty strong fuse in a bunch of ways, but I think the other options are just more enticing. It only activates when you're below 40% life. The fuse is activated. So you see there's like a glow and then there's an icon on the bar up there. So when you have Fury activated, there's a couple of things. One, you just do more damage. The other thing is you gain a dash cancel. So when you hit someone with a move, you can hit forward, forward and dash cancel the move. And once you stop glowing red, you gain the dash cancel back. This glowing red mechanic is the Fury dash cancel. It's really useful for characters like Braum because this move, you can't combo off this move by itself as an example. But with dash cancel, you can. If your opponent's blocking, it gives you access to mix-ups like that, that you wouldn't be able to do if you didn't have Fury, right? That's like a unique thing that you can do. So you can do overhead, dash cancel, command grab. Like Braum's Fury application is so funny. It has some of the coolest things with Fury, I think. Another cool application that Fury has that's unique is that the wake-up attack becomes dash cancelable. This is pretty good. Yoink. 
you can imagine with Darius being able to dash cancel his wake up armor move is pretty good. The thing is, is I just don't think it offers enough utility to be a lot of the other options, but it is really fun. I think it's a, a cool thing. I, I wonder if they're going to buff it in some way. I think the life requirement definitely makes it rough. Maybe you should just get a dash cancel that you can do more often and then you gain a damage buff if a character is dead or something. I don't know. You could do, there's probably some way to make it more interesting, but I think right now a lot of people don't think it's very good. It's probably not as good as the three main ones, double down, freestyle and 2x, but I think it's, it's a pretty solid fuse. 